And we are underway in Buffalo. when you need it later. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now Lance going to throw. Gets this one to use check. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. McCaffrey running up the middle. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 21. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from the 20. And the 49ers have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Allen. He'll take a shot for Davis to the end zone. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball. He could not hang on. Second down coming up. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. To throw once more on second and 10. Allen. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Bills. Isaiah McKenzie, 39 yards. And the Bills are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. He 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy of what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but... We know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. That second down play nets a minus four. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds it and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. Here's Lance to throw it. Got a man. That's Ayu. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Lance finding Ayu there for a Niner first. Now a timeout called for by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. Ready. Two seconds to go, first Ready. quarter. Ready. On first down, Lance. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Open, ready? Throwing again on second down, Lance. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a couple lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that his defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. From the 45 on second down, Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one good for 37 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Lance on the bootleg. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. to the left. And they'll go for it. Lance steps away. 
And this is going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know, we're still in the first half. A bold call nonetheless. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it. Didn't work out. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Now it's Allen. And this one is incomplete. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield. Incomplete. On second and ten. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They run here with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Lance now on first down. He's got a man complete. Touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Gold to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 56, 56. Now Allen. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A final shot before half for Allen. He's got a man complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. the party started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard from his end zone Isaiah McKenzie and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? After the sack on first down, Allen, it's complete to Diggs. A solid stiff arm. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 37 yards. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Allen going to go on fourth down. 
The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. <laughs> he coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And he is out of bounds inside the third. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Diggs going in motion right. On first down, Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. Touchdown. Gabriel Davis from 21 yards away. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Supported by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Okay, the great. 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. On first and ten, here's Lance. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Throwing now is Lance. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Lance now on first down. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Again, it's Lance. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now Lance. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down Lumen. Play action, now it's Lance sliding out of the pocket. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Desperation time here, Lance. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. 
Ray Ray McLeod from four yards out. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he's in for two. The fake works. And they take the lead. Someone really wanted to be in the lead here because that's a heck of a gamble, isn't it? You're down one, you kick it, you got a tie ball game. Instead, they fake it. And I keep coming back to this every time I see it. Remember, if you're faking an extra point now, the ball snapped at the 15 yard Yeah, you're giving up 13 yards as opposed to just lining up at the two and saying you're going to go for two. You're running a big play, lots of yardage for one extra point. That's a heck of a gamble, but it paid off in this case. Here's Allen to throw it. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 33 yards that time. Diggs going in motion right. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. So they get the interception and almost as importantly, a big return after that. And who was the guy that saved the touchdown, partner? The guy who threw the interception a lot of times. He just gives it the old Ole, but give him credit. He went old school. He was determined not to make this a pick six. And he got there in time to make the tackle. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive game, that's nice, but works some fun. Yeah, you're exactly right. But the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Here's Lance to throw it. Got a man, that's IU. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 yards for number 11. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. So the touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? 
You can do that, or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ballgame. Now Allen. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, this game has not been short on intrigue. And that's the backbreaker right there, and it's going to put any hope of victory to bed. Yeah, they knew they needed the touchdown. And when you have that little time remaining, they know they've got no choice except to go for broke, and that they did. But the interception, that means defeat. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clear.